Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at uh, Microsoft Outlook integration from Highland Software. Uh, Outlook integration allows you to perform some of the basic upload and retrieval functions from OnBase directly from within your Outlook client. Uh, for today I'm going to be in Outlook 2010. There is also an integration for Outlook 2007 and there's also an integration for older versions if you're, if you're still on those as well. So from within Outlook, uh, one of the first things I might want to do is upload a particular message into OnBase and, and its attachments. So let's take this i9 from Sam Hastings here and open up the message. Um, you can see I've got an icon on the menu to upload. When I click that, uh, the first time I have to log in. Now, of course, if you were using uh, Active Directory integration, this could auto log in at this point, but we're going to go ahead and log in manually. So once I do that, I get an indexing dialog down the right-hand side of the message. Uh, a couple things to point out here. The first is, uh, on top here, it says we're actually on the message. What we're doing at this point is, uh, Outlook allows you to index and archive uh, either the message, the attachment, or both. Uh, in this particular case, we've told Outlook that we want to keep them separate and allow them to be archived or skipped separately. So this is focused on the message right now. I'm going to skip the message itself because I just want to archive the attachment. So now you can see I'm on the attachment itself. Um, so now let's go ahead and index that as we normally would. Uh, let's fill out a few of the keywords here. Uh, a couple things to note here as well. Uh, you see down below we've got some of the uh, some keyword fields, mail to, mail from, mail subject. Um, OnBase has the option to actually pick up those metadata values from the email and automatically fill those into keywords uh, on the archive document as well. So that's a nice feature. Um, on the bottom here we've got a checkbox, apply to all attachments. Uh, let's say for instance we had three or four or, or more attachments in this one email that we were sending to the same place with the same set of keywords. Uh, rather than have to archive each one of those individually, we could go ahead and just check that box and it will go through and archive all those attachments for you. So that's all I'm going to fill out for the indexing for right now. So let's go ahead and say upload. And you can see on the bottom here that our file has been uploaded successfully to Homebase. I could perform that same sort of upload from here if I wanted to by right clicking and saying upload, which would actually open the message itself in that same dialog. We're going to cancel in this case. Another thing that Outlook integration allows you to do is to set up folders uh, in your Outlook folder structure to automatically uh, archive things into given document types with given keywords. So for example, we've got a section for resumes here and a folder for nursing. Um, I've got an email from Edward Stitt for a nurse candidate and attached to that email is a resume. So in this case I've got potentially a lot of emails coming in with the same types of attachments. Um, instead of indexing each of those individually I can just drag that message over to the nursing folder and behind the scenes what OnBase is doing right now is picking up that attachment, uh, adding the metadata values from the email as keywords, and going ahead and automatically archiving that document uh, into the appropriate document type within OnBase. So if you have a situation where you have a lot of messages coming in with similar messages, with similar attachments, um, that's something you can do to speed the process along quite a bit. So now let's say I want to create a new document, or I'm sorry, create a new message and attach a document from OnBase directly from within Outlook. So let's say I want to do a new email and fire it up. So I've got an icon on the menu, attach from OnBase. Let's go ahead and click that, and down the right-hand side of the message, we're going to get a retrieval dialog. So from here, this is like any other retrieval. What am I after? Uh, I'm after, in this particular case, a vendor invoice. We'll put in our search criteria and hit find, and any resulting documents from that search are going to show up in this list down here. Of course, if there was more than one, you'd see more than one list, more than one option in the list. Pick the document or documents that you want to attach and say attach from OnBase. And now that document is attached to this message and ready to be sent. The last thing we're going to look at is the OnBase menu bar up top. Uh, we've got a series of icons up here. Uh, the first one is document retrieval, which will launch a separate document retrieval window from OnBase for reference purposes. Uh, next you've got upload. Of course, if you've got messages or me a message selected and you hit the upload button, it will start the whole upload process that we went through before. Uh, then there's workflow. Workflow will launch another secondary window, but will take you directly into OnBase workflow if that's something that your organization uses. Uh, and finally is the OnBase client button, which will launch a completely separate instance of the OnBase client. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this today. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at lbmctechinfo at lbmc.com uh, or you can check out our website at www.lbmctech.com. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. If you'd like to see a, a more in-depth demonstration, we can certainly set that up. Uh, or if you would just like to discuss how this module might work in your environment.
Thank you.